Christina Gale here and I'm going to work on the Freaky Fast Friday challenge so I'm gonna put the graphic in right here so you can see all of the dimensions this is a challenge from the scrap room blog so you're given this formula with five different sizes of paper that you can cut from your patterned paper or cardstock and then you can't use anything else except for your background and embellishments of course so I love doing those and I've had a lot of great response of when I've done a live video um, or real time where you can see my decision process. So I thought I would try to do it again. So I'm going to work with Echo Park Summer Fun. Love that beautiful floral. There's the pink polka dot, the plaid, there's a yellow on the back, and then a 4x4 four four cut apart, and the back side's a black and white stripe and then black cardstock. I also have from the kit some of the die cut pieces, so I've hunted out a couple that I think will work. And on this particular challenge, there is a circle, so I've pulled out my circle die so that I can cut a four inch circle. And as of right now, this is the photo that I've pulled out, hoping that it's gonna work with the cuts, but since I really don't know what I'm gonna end up with, I don't know if I need more than one photo or not. So I am going to get started. One of the first things that I thought about doing for the four inch circle, I love these cut aparts with these different pieces and since they're four by four, I can actually fit it on my four inch circle. So I'm thinking this is the one that I wanna use. Really love the florals and that could be used as part of the title. Um, some of the other dimensions, there's a three by four. And so I had looked at this to see if there was something that I could do from it. And there's this one that I could cut down to a three by four to do my journaling on. So that's what I'm thinking about doing for that particular size. Then I have three other ones. So it's a nine and a quarter by two and a quarter. That's gonna be a longer strip. And normally there's like a long narrow strip and I usually do stripes or something like that so this is kind of my biggest piece as far as horizontal and I'm thinking I want this floral because this is the piece of paper that's probably going to be seen the most on the layout and so I really want this as the focal point and it's gonna go well against the black cardstock where if I did this, I mean, it would look good, but it's it's like high contrast. So all my other choices would be really high contrast. So I'm liking this one for my long strip. Then I have two more, a four by seven and a four by six and a half. So those are slightly larger than a photo, so I could use them to go behind, you know, behind it, layered behind it. So I'm definitely gonna use the plaid. And I'm not much of a yellow person, but I love pink, so I think I'm gonna go with the pink. So that means these are gonna be my three patterns, and then I will have this and the yellow. And the yellow is gonna work in because I have it in the flowers, I have it in the plaid, and I have it here. So that is the decisions that I'm gonna go with. That was pretty easy, that was quick. Um, so yeah, my long strip. So the only thing is which do I want the pink or the plaid as the longer one? So one's four by six and a half, one's four by seven. Um, I'm gonna do the seven inch with the pink polka dot, six and a half inch with this. Just because I like the pink and I'm thinking this being six and a half is going to go in between this one and this one so it would be a good contrast all right so i'm going to cut those up and then we'll be back to put it together all right so i've got all five of my pieces here i did cut down one of the four by four cut aparts to a three by four for my journaling and i circle cut this one with my die and then these so i am ready to put it together and i am thinking that since I just have the one photo, I just want to play with these kind of as a mat. I just, I don't know. I think I just want to do everything kind of on angle. Yeah, I 
like that where that's just kind of an angle and that actually can just go like that. See, this is the reason I love this challenge. It just seems like you just put it down and it falls into place and you run out of adhesive. Why is it you always run out of tape on the first piece that you adhere to instead of the last piece of a layout when you're putting it together? I don't think I ever run out on the last piece, but I run out all the time when I start a layout. I just think that's odd. All right, back to the layout. I've went ahead and sped this up right now so that we can just go through and talk about assembling the layout. I went ahead and put everything down just the way that I kind of planned. It just kind of fell into place. I knew I wanted this journaling spot kind of over to the left and I was going to do the circle on the opposite side and I played back and forth moving this kind of up and down and up and down and the thing that I'm looking at is I didn't want the journaling spot and that circle straight across from each other. I wanted it to create somewhat of a triangle around the photo. I know I'm still lacking one embellishment area but I already had that in mind that those were going to be the start of the embellishments, so I didn't want them straight across. I wanted them angled from each other. And then once I started putting everything kind of together, you know, up underneath there, I decided that I had spread those papers out just a little bit much. I wanted to pull them in and make a smaller border around them. So here's where I'm going to kind of start looking for embellishments. I'm going to keep this really simple. It was a fairly quick layout other than really the only thing that I'm just kept messing with was that circle trying to get it in the right spot. I end up moving it up towards the top of the photo and pulling that pineapple where it's kind of straight across from the journaling card. And I like that quite a bit. I could have pulled it all the way down or either all the way up. Either way. But I just really wanted a little bit of an angle there. And then I wanted to repeat some of those flowers and the one that I had on the sticker sheet was this one that was a really large one but I hated to waste it. I didn't want to put the whole thing because most of it was going to be up underneath the photo. So I end up cutting some of it away and then just tucking it up under that photo and that I like. So you saw me kind of uh, putting that on my arm, taking some of the sticky off. That pineapple was so sticky, I about never got it off that photo, and I kept moving it and moving it, and it was still really, really sticky. So these stickers here, if you put them down, that's where they're staying. They're not going to move, so you might want to kind of try the same thing if you're not really sure. So to finish out my triangle, I decided I wanted something up at the upper left, so I found this little sticker. It says Sweet Summertime. And it has the plaid pattern that's behind my photo, so I thought that was a perfect little addition, just kind of tied it all in. And that's pretty much all of the big embellishments that I'm going to put on here. The rest are going to be some of these smaller flowers, and I just tuck them in um, up at the top on that piece and then over by the pineapple. And then I got some enamel dots out of my stash and just put some around, and you saw me kind of flipped my hand. It was like I was putting them all different kinds of places and it's like I don't know. I mean there wasn't really any right place, wrong place, whatever. So I just, I play for a while deciding what colors I want where and um, kind of where they're going to go out on the page. I'm going to go ahead and just put my journaling on the journaling card over to the left. It has the little boxes for the bullet journey journaling. But I just wrote out a couple of sentences, so I didn't really use it as a bullet journal, but um, that would be perfect if that's what you wanted to do. And like I said, that's pretty much going to finish it. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to check out the scrap room and the challenges. You can play along with this challenge for a chance at prizes, a gift certificate to the store. And you can come over to their blog or their Facebook group and see what the rest of the design team has come up with this challenge. So it's definitely one of my favorites. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you back here really soon with another process video. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love you to click my face there and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this, a thumbs up is always appreciated. So you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye bye.